In this question, it says a galvanic cell at a temperature of 25 degrees C is powered by the following redox reaction. Suppose the cell is prepared with uh, 5.11 molar tin 2 plus and 0.257 molar barium 2 plus. So basically, we have some non-standard conditions. So in, for non-standard conditions, we need to use the Nernst equation, which is that E equals the standard reduction potential of the cell minus RT n, the number of moles, F, Faraday's constant, ln Q, and Q is the current conditions. So Q equals products over reactants. In this case, the only product that's aqueous is Ba2 plus. And the only reactant that's aqueous is Sn2 plus. So this is basically what we need to do. But like in the other ones, we need to find the standard reduction potential uh, the usual way. So first, we need to find um, the charges on things. And this is one that's pretty straightforward because they're either zero or given. So in this case, tin is plus two, and it's going to zero because it's elemental. And so it's, it's going for plus two to zero. We have reduction, so this is the cathode. We have barium going from zero to plus two, so it's losing electrons, so oxidation is occurring, and this is the anode. So at the cathode, where reduction is occurring, what we have is Sn2 plus aqueous forming, uh, um, we have to add two electrons, and then it will form Sn solid. The standard reduction potential for this looked up on the table is negative 0 0.1375 volts. At the anode, where of course oxidation is occurring, we have barium solid yields Ba2 plus aqueous, and of course it lost two electrons, so plus two electrons. The standard reduction potential for this one is negative 2.912 volts, and again, we just looked that up on the table. So now we need to find the standard reduction potential of the cell. And of course, the standard reduction potential of the cell is the standard reduction potential of the cathode minus the standard reduction potential at the anode. So in this case, it's negative 0 0.1375 volts minus negative 2.912 volts. And if we do it to three decimal places, we get 2.775 volts. We now know E naught cell. We also know N because we've transferred two electrons um, in both cases, so they will cancel out. So when we balance it up, we've, we are transferring the two electrons. So that's basically a couple of things we figured out. Now, we do need to still solve for Q. But if we look back to the problem, we're actually given both of the concentrations. So we simply just plug them in. So barium 2 plus is 0 0.257 molar. And tin 2 plus is 5.11 molar. And you could pretty much ignore units in these Qs and uh, because if they're molar squared or whatever, you, you can just ignore them. So in this case, Q equals 0 0.050294. We now have everything we need to plug in. So using the Nernst equation, we have E equals the standard reduction potential, which is 2.775 volts minus R, we want to use 8.31 joules per mole K. The temperature is 25, uh, excuse me here, 25, but we want it to be in K, so 298.15 K, divided by N, there are two moles transferred, so we have two moles, times Faraday's constant, which is 9.649 times 10 to the 4 coulombs per mole. When you do all of this out, um, 
you're essentially going to get uh, joules per coulomb, which is equal to a volt. Then we want to do ln of Q, where Q we found over here is 0 0.05029. So that will give us um, units of volts because this ln is unitless. So then basically you're going to get overall units of volts. So you're going to have volts minus a negative volts or plus volts. And when you round it to significant figures, you get 2.81 volts after you do all of the math. So this is how you want to approach this problem.